National School Choice Week is well underway across the country, and Andrew Campanella, the president of National School Choice Week, has some tips on how to choose the right school for your child and how it can change a child's future. Good morning. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. Thanks so much. Yeah, so let's talk about Florida. Let's first start there. And when it comes to school choice, how is Florida looking in the big picture? Well, I may be in San Francisco today, but I'm actually a Floridian, so I'm happy to say that Florida has more school choice options for families than most other states. Parents can choose from traditional public schools, public charter schools, public magnet schools, private schools, online academies, and homeschooling. There are a variety of different programs and policies that make it easy and efficient for parents to make these choices for their kids. You know, I'm going to be in the boat for the first time this uh, this year. My, my daughter will be starting kindergarten this year. So for other families like this, even if you're still well into the, the school year, well into a, a school, what are questions parents need to be asking in making sure that they're picking the right school for them? Where do you start? The first question you want to ask is, what type of environment do you think will inspire, motivate, and challenge your child? And a lot of that is knowing your child because you're the parent and you know your child best. The second thing you want to do is look into the options available in your community. We have a school choice guide on our website for parents in Florida. You should download that and get a sense of the ideas. Uh, and suggestions that we provide as well as the options in your community and in your state. Then the next thing I would recommend doing is once you get an idea of all these schools in your community, start visiting schools and asking questions of teachers and administrators. So how soon do you do that? Is that why National Cho uh, School Choice Week is now? I mean, can we go ahead and start asking now before yes. the school year starts? That is a great question and the reality is that if parents want to choose a school for their child, they should start the process in January right now. Don't wait until summer break. Schools are actually already filling up for the 2018-2019 school year. So you want to get the process started as soon as possible. That's why School Choice Week is the last week in January. Okay. What is the biggest mistake do you think that, that parents make? And again, not intentionally, but I think they just don't know sometimes. I don't know. Is it just picking a school by location? or not looking into it soon enough? What do you think are some of those big mistakes parents are making? I think the biggest obstacle that exists is still letting parents know about the choices that exist, number one, and two, that they need to get the process started sooner rather than later. I think those two things uh, present the biggest challenges or obstacles for families. In terms of mistakes, um, Families, uh, you know, when they know about their options and they have time to plan for them, I generally see families very satisfied with the choices that they do make. Uh, as we close here, what is your thoughts? I'm going to kind of put you on the spot. But if, if you're in the wrong school, do you pull them out in the, in the middle of the school year or do you start, do you finish that year through and then look at the for the next year? That entirely depends on whether or not you think removing your child from school in the middle of a school year would be disruptive to the child or beneficial. There are situations that would warrant both scenarios. So for example, if your child is being bullied and the school has not addressed that issue, you might be better off removing your child right now. But if it's a situation where you think this is working but it's not the best fit and I found out about another option, maybe you choose that other option for the next school year and you keep your child in their existing school for right now. All right. Well, Andrew, lots of great advice. Thank you so much for taking some time, and we hope you have a safe trip back to Florida. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it. All right.